So you can see that Nigeria is in a very terrible state under the APC government of Mamadou Buhari and Yemi Osimbanjo. Just a few weeks to leave in office, they have borrowed another $800 million from the World Bank for so-called palliatives for fuel subsidy, removal of uh, fuel subsidy. For everything, they want to have a reason to borrow money. A government that is not daft would focus on fixing our refineries rather than borrowing $800 million for so-called palliatives as so-called for removing fuel subsidy. Now, they said they want to share this money to 50, fam uh, 50 million families. Which families? Few fictitious names that they just put on paper, close friends and allies and their political talks. They pay them and also it's 50 million people. On verifiable list, the 10 billion naira that was shared in the first phase of trader money by Yemi Osimbajo cannot be traced or verified. What happened to COVID-19 palliatives and huge sums of money borrowed and kept? Those monies that have kept us even more indebted than we were. The palliatives they hid and they rebranded as campaign materials and gifts for the same people that you oppress. That you borrow, borrow, borrow without any plan to produce, no plan for productivity. What happened to the 27.160 billion naira that was donated by private sectors to the Nigerian government to support Nigerians in fighting the coronavirus uh, pandemic? The IMF also approved $3.4 billion. Billion! Under the rapid financing instrument for Nigerians to fight COVID 19. Where is the money? The African Development Bank approved $288.5 million to help Nigeria tackle the COVID 19 pandemic. Where are the monies? Where is the pandemic? Where is COVID 19? They turn every pain to gain. Every pain they turn to gain. Our compatriots were killed when they tried to get the palliatives hidden by governors. Children were shot to death in Bene City because they tried to reach out for hidden in domain. Boring to feed without planning to establish a productive farm is senseless and unpatriotic. They know what they are doing. These are their takeaways. They are leaving office. So left, right, and center. They are stealing our money. They are even organizing uh, 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 population census for $1.8 billion. Money that they will share and steal. Even the people that approve those monies, they will get their share. The APC government is the worst tragedy that could befall any country. Either they are borrowing money to fight the same terrorists that they support, or they are borrowing money to share in the name of palliatives. Now, this Buhari Osimbajo government are leaving us heavily indebted as a country, far more than they met the country, with little or nothing to show for it. They borrow in our names and steal in their names. Why we, the people, we remain silent? For how long must we allow this to continue in our country? We're talking about our common wealth. We're talking about our common wealth. We're silent because we have turned public servants to public masters. What is the future of future generations of, of, of Nigerians? What is their future?